hello. All right, I am live. It looks like microphone's working, looks like video camera's working. I have a slightly different setup than I have done in the past, so I hope it's working okay. Let me know in the chat if you can hear and see me okay. And feel free to just say hi. Let me know how your Saturday was. Hello. Thank you. Great. Excellent. So, <laughs> thanks. Yes, uh, Alex is complimenting the lights. Yes, we're actually, this is going to be very interesting because we're actually going to be using the lights as part of our relaxation session. Um, so that will be very interesting. I've never, <laughs> I've never used Christmas lights as a type of focal point or mantra before, but uh, we'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. Anyway, so we are live for week. Oh, good. Yeah, Alex with wrapping presents. Hey, Mel. Um, yeah, so um, earlier today I had my Harping for the Holidays concert that I hosted from my living room. So for those of you who joined me for that, thank you. It was very pleasant and even my mom said that it helped to get her in the Christmas spirit because she wasn't feeling very Christmassy, which is something that we're actually going to talk about today. But um, yeah, the, um, the day has been very windy and stormy. <laughs> so we were all just staying cozy inside our houses, listening to my Celtic harp. And, uh, and now I'm here with my therapy harp. So this is gonna be different from Thank you. Everybody's talking about the concert. Thank you. Yay. That was my first Zoom concert. I've done Zoom harp therapy sessions. I had never actually done a Zoom concert. So I'm glad that it went off without a hitch. It was really nice. So this live stream and all the live streams that I'll be hosting on Saturdays this month, um, they're going to incorporate Christmas music on my harp but we're also going to really just bring in the relaxation as to. It's nice for these Saturday nights where most of us are taking it easy and we're staying home this month. And of course, things are still very challenging, very stressful out in the world. So it's just our opportunity to escape that for a little while and to breathe easy, to let the harp work its magic. So we're going to... Uh, have quick discussions, but we're mostly going to just breathe, listen to the music. And I did post on my website that we could make this a little bit of a virtual tea party. So if you have tea or a hot beverage or a cold beverage, <laughs> whatever uh, strikes your fancy, then uh, definitely enjoy that. I actually have my tea right here. So I'm going to be taking my sips as it starts to cool down. Nice to have a warm beverage on this stormy day. All right, so it looks like we have a handful of viewers. Other people might be signing on as we go, but looks like everything's up and running, so great. So we'll get started, and if people come in, then uh, that's fine. They can settle themselves in. First, I want to, um, I'm just going to write in the chat my Christmas calendar. Harpandwellness.com slash Christmas. Most of you who are here already know about it, but in case you stumbled upon this live stream or if you're a new subscriber, I have a lot of new subscribers um, because I posted my six hour uh, Christmas music compilation and a lot of people subscribed after that so thank you and welcome new subscribers um, so if you don't know I am doing a whole lineup of Christmas uh, therapeutic harp events 
throughout the holiday season. So it started with my six hour Christmas compilation that's up here on my channel. And it's just beautiful background music set to candlelight visuals. And then I also have an album of the same music uh, that is available on my website. So you can download that, you can buy it for people as a gift. And it comes with a booklet that talks about the healing benefits of the Christmas music album. So that's kind of cool. And then I had my concert earlier today. And then every Saturday I'll be right here live and we'll be doing Christmas music relaxation sessions. So that's what I have in store. All of the links to access everything um, is on that uh, harpandwellness.com slash Christmas. Okay, so I wanted to talk about, this was something that I posted on my Instagram today, but also something that came up after my concert where my mom said that she just wasn't feeling in the Christmas spirit and how the music helped her. And that's really great news to me because I know that a lot of us are struggling right now with what emotions we're, we feel like we're supposed to be feeling during the holiday season because we're used to feeling joy or at least feeling like we're supposed to feel joy. And with everything that's going on and traditions changing, it can be really difficult. So this is also something that I talked about in um, some of my previous videos where we went over coping with holiday changes and stressors. But I just wanted to touch on this idea of what you're supposed to feel during the holidays with a big giant, there's no way that you're supposed to feel, right? And I think that that's something people get caught up in this forced merriment and if you're not feeling it you're not feeling it but one thing that's important is that if you do start to feel it and you know that there's all this bad stuff going on in the world then how do you feel i think a lot of people feel guilty where they think oh i'm actually feeling in the christmas spirit and i'm feeling joyous and i'm enjoying decorating and wrapping presents and listening to christmas music but how can I feel happy when there's so much going on in the world and so many people are sad and sick and dying? Like, is that fair? And that's tough because the answer is, well, it's not really fair, but that's life. And all I know is that if you negate whatever joy you're feeling, that's not going to help the circumstances. So I wrote this thing on my Instagram today where I said, being happy this Christmas doesn't mean that you're ignoring the harsh realities of the year. It doesn't mean that you're negating your attempts at being safe. It doesn't mean that the traditions that you're missing no longer matter. And then I said, joy isn't finite. That's something that I said in one of my previous videos as well. So here we are with traditions that are, a lot of them are on pause for this year. And that can make us really sad and rightly so. But when you find yourself in the present moment and you're staying at home and you're feeling cozy and you think, wow, you know what? This isn't so bad. Does that take away from the traditions that you had in previous years? No, of course not. You can have joy in your previous year's traditions and you can have joy now. So that's just my little tidbit that if you're feeling sad, that's okay. Work through it. I'm here to help. Um, and there are a lot of resources that can help. But if you are starting to feel the joy or the merriment or the peace or the coziness or even just the hope, then really lean into those feelings and don't feel bad. Don't feel like you're negating your previous traditions or that you're ignoring what's going on in the world because that's not true. Because all of these emotions, there's more. There's more that you can, that you can conjure up. So I've been thinking about that a lot lately. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, it looks like our number of participants hasn't changed for a few minutes. So we will get started 
with, um, we're going to do just a little bit of breath work because I feel like in order to really receive this music, it's good to just take a minute to um, stabilize your breath and to find a comfortable position where you can stay in for a little while. Um, and all of this is, I, I always, I feel like I'm saying in one of my pre-recorded videos, I say this is just guidance, but it is. So if you are just here for the music, that's great. You can just sit and relax. But this is a relaxation session and this is therapeutic harp. So we're going to incorporate um, just a little bit of breathing, um, just to make sure that we're tuning into our bodies and our minds. So what we're going to do is um, after this little bit of breath work, I'm going to play some mostly improvisation on the harp and then I'm going to weave in different Christmas songs. And so I'm, I'm reading chats. I, I'm very bad at multitasking in the sense of reading chats and talking at the same time because then I lose my train of thought. <laughs> but I wanted to read what Alex said because um, she said, I felt in a better mood after listening to the Christmas harp and having a cozy drink and wrapping presents. Yeah, um, I read something that my sister-in-law posted on Facebook the other day and it was talking about self-care and how self-care gets this really misconstrued reputation as oh I'm lighting candles and I'm having massages and like all that stuff the stuff that people make the money off of right but how self-care actually doesn't look all sunshine and rainbows self-care is dirty looking like that's basically what the article was about self-care is you sweating your butt off working out to try to make you feel good and to try to clear your mind of all your stresses um you know self-care is you taking that time to get the help that you need to seek your support system to seek out therapy or anything so that's it really hit me because i i thought about how right and how true that is that when we talk about self-care yes once in a while we can talk about having a spa day but that's not everyday self-care. Everyday self-care is finding your routine that allows you to check in with yourself and go, okay, I'm starting to feel X, Y, and Z, and I don't want to feel like this, so let me go through this process and let me find my coping tools to, to guide myself to a better place. So it's interesting. And just something like this, and of course I know that for most of you, the harp <laughs> isn't something that's an everyday thing. For me, of course, it is. But having this consistency of listening to music, especially Christmas music or calming, relaxing music, music has that wondrous effect on us where it really helps us to feel our emotions and feel what's in the, the depths of our core. So I like reading things like, you know, listening to music and just having a drink, wrapping presents, um, and my mom saying, you know, I got into the Christmas spirit. It's really good. It's really important. So thank you for that comment, Alex. Okay, so I didn't lose my train of thought. Go figure. Um, I was talking about the music that I'm going to play. So I'm going to do a little bit of improv, and then I'm also going to weave in some Christmas music. And I want you to just let whatever thoughts come in, be there, be in your mind, accept them, witness them. And then as they naturally float in, they will naturally float out and then something else will come in. Some of these songs might be familiar to you. Some of them might be less familiar. Some of them might stir up memories. Some of them might be really emotional memories, but whatever comes in your mind, let it sit and then let it go. If at any time these memories or these references become too much, then feel free to uh, lower the volume of your video or mute the video for a little while, work through it, focus on your breath again. And this is actually where the lights are gonna come in too. So I set the Christmas lights on a setting where they will dim and they'll fade out and then they'll come back on. So if you're feeling like you need something to focus on and the music's getting too much or whatever's going on in your mind is too much, then breathe and you can focus on the fading in and out of these lights. 
and they're they're going on and off very slow so probably a little bit slower than how you might be breathing but if you can take a deep enough breath to sort of match the lights turning on and off then that's something that's a really nice focal point and it will help to um, guide your relaxation um, and once I start playing I am going to um, shut off my main light so we'll just be sitting basically in the glow of the Christmas lights so that's what is on the agenda for today? I'm going to see if my tea is... Ah, it's drinkable. It's peppermint mate for anyone who's wondering. I know a few of my friends like to know the teas that I'm drinking. Which, by the way, um, after our last tea party... Let me write the URL down. After our last tea party, I did add some of my teas to my website, to my Amazon page. There you go, harpandwellness.com slash Amazon. Um, because we were talking about, I drink a lot of organic teas and I have some of my favorites. So for those of you who are interested in the teas that I drink, I drink some kind of crazy flavors sometimes, like peppermint mate, which by the way is caffeinated. So good luck to me tonight because I probably won't be able to sleep. But I was exhausted today. <laughs> Going live twice, the weather. I just had a really busy week. So I was so exhausted. I said, I need caffeine. So that's why I'm having a mate. But yeah, if you want to check out my Amazon page, especially if you're looking for gifts for people kind of in this wellness self-care sphere um, and not in a you know, really expensive way, like we were just talking about before, like having spa days, which again, nothing against them. I love a spa day once in a while. <laughs> but if you're looking for uh, small little gifts, like different books and uh, little meditation things and stuff, I have a bunch of um, products that I recommend, many of which I use myself on my Amazon store at harpandwellness.com slash Amazon. So take a look. I do earn a little bit of a compensation if you use my link to buy the products, which I greatly appreciate because uh, you'll not just be supporting whatever sellers are selling the items, which a lot of them are small businesses, but you're actually supporting my small business a little bit too. So, all right, let's get started with our breath work. I'm gonna take one more sip. So if you're sitting or lying down, just make sure you're comfortable. I'm going to try to loosen up my shoulders a little bit. A lot of harp playing today sort of makes me. <laughs> and if it's comfortable for you to close your eyes, then you can join me in doing that. And I just want you to try and clear your mind by focusing on your breath the inhale and the exhale, noticing how it feels to have that air traveling in and out. And we're not really going to do anything to change our breath. We're just going to allow it to be as fast or slow, steady or unsteady as it naturally is right now. And in time, with the music and hopefully with the fading of the lights, there will be more of a gradual deepening of the breath. And just do a little self check-in, which I've been recommending that all of my followers and subscribers do once in a while, especially this holiday season, do a check-in and just Think about how you're feeling and accept whatever that is. If you're feeling the holiday merriment, that's great. If you're feeling relaxed after listening to harp music today, then that's awesome. But if you're not there yet and you're still feeling sad or if maybe something happened recently that was a stressor and it sort of made you spin into this negative spiral. Accept that too. And no matter where you're at, thank yourself for being here right now. Because you're doing something to help comfort you. You're engaging in self-care. And like that post said that my sister-in-law posted, it doesn't have to look pretty. 
So we might think that it's all pretty right now with the lights behind me and my Christmas colors and the harp. Yes, that's beautiful. But you might feel certain thoughts and certain emotions stir up that might not be very pretty. And that's okay too, because this is all part of the self-care process. So continue breathing. And the music's gonna come in. And I'll play for about 15, 20 minutes, which usually seems to be a good amount of time for the music to really start to sink in.
nervous that uh, the video might uh, be losing connection. So hopefully everybody was able to still hear things. All right, well, so every Saturday, um, I'll be back doing similar relaxation, harp therapy, live streams. Um, each week is gonna be a little bit different. Uh, some will have more harp music, uh, more, oh good, uh, apparently there were no lags. Yeah, I just had a little yellow banner pop up and it said that it might cause some disruptions in connection. Good, I'm glad that everybody was still able to uh, to hear things. But yeah, so some weeks we'll do a little bit more Christmas music. Some weeks we'll have some discussions like this one, but this is the general idea. But if you are uh, looking for more Christmas music, then definitely check out my six hour video that I have that I posted earlier in the week, because um, that's some really beautiful, relaxing harp music and some nice visuals. And uh, it's my number one ranked video on my channel. Um, so that's exciting. So um, everybody who has been listening to it and sharing, I really appreciate it. Um, I've gotten some really good feedback, so that's exciting. So until next week, um, I hope you all go through these uh, changing times and keep in mind what we discussed here tonight and just be compassionate with yourself and just keep taking it day by day because this doesn't have to be a totally difficult time. There are going to be parts that are hard, but there are also going to be times that you're going to feel the Christmas spirit, even if it's just a little bit. So be on the lookout for that within yourself. And I'll be back next Saturday. All right. Okay. Good night.